Hello world, it's time to clear some targets. So I was um, so frustrated with the fact that there's this silly scoring bug that I've decided to add a task on Wikibooks that I will call T0 um, so that I can I can go and fix it and also maybe like add, add to the wiki page. I have added it to my tasks, right? T0, fix the scoring bug where that end target clears give you the wrong number that's because we we give two points for every target cleared and then we always remove one point because it's simpler than to do in because there's three ways we can fail as we'll see so instead of doing a bunch of else's there's a minus one you know kind of decrease the score by one which works perfectly fine when you're you kind of hitting only one target but the moment you hit more than one you're not scoring correctly although having said that maybe it is deliberate um all this says is the player scores is increased. It doesn't exactly tell you is increased by the number of targets cleared. So maybe it's deliberate, but frankly, it feels it feels like so bad that it's going to be a deliberately bad code that you're meant to fix in the exam. So I'm going to take my original, uh, copy it and paste it and rename it as T0. And here we go. So the score happens, the scoring happens in play game. The negative scoring happens in play game, right? Um, here, the score minus one will happen all the time. What we want is we only want to decrease the score by one if you've either, your input wasn't valid or your input was valid, but you weren't using all numbers that were all allowed or your input was valid, you were using numbers that were all allowed, but it didn't evaluate to a target. That's three different situations in, in which we can get um, minus one. So really that should be else. Uh, and then maybe have an, let's do them in order, else. Up. and then an else to this one to go here. Now, if the input was invalid, we get minus one. If the input was valid, but we're not using all the numbers allowed, we get minus one. If the input was valid, the input was valid. I speak too fast, but that avoids having to put the video on 1.25 speed. Uh, if the input was valid and the numbers were all in numbers allowed, but the expression did not evaluate to target, that also gives us a score minus one. What we then need to do is find a place where it gets plus two, which I think is in, is in, is in, is in this one. Oh yeah, okay, right here. And then this just needs to be increased by one. Save it and test it. Oh, this is just a very short video, right? Okay, so um, if I do something, well, let's let's get something correct that maybe gets me two. And then it duplicates there, 49. And it's seven times seven, but I don't have what I need to do seven times seven here, do I? Because I don't have task one where I'm allowed to use things more than once. It's unfortunate. Well, let's kind of play the game and see. Uh, um, it is 236. That's helpful. But, oh, 8 minus 2. No, because I need brackets to do that, do I? Hmm. Okay, three times 10 plus six, yes. Three times 10, 30, plus six, 36. Boom, and I'm getting two more points instead of, before I would have gotten three more points. Now, let's test the way in which I can get it wrong. Four times six with spaces. Invalid expression, minus one. Using um, a valid expression, like four times six, but that doesn't contain numbers and numbers available or allowed, that's also minus one. And finally, if I do, there's no 16 there, right? So if I do eight times two, times two valid expression, the numbers are in numbers allowed and numbers available, but it's not a target. So I get minus one as well. So I think we have successfully uh, fixed this bug in three minutes. Maybe it won't be a task, but I mean, this feels so odd to put it mildly that I thought it was gonna work we're fixing. Oh, let's have a look at the uh, the diff. So I started from the original, which I'm going to select for compare, and I'm going to use my T0 compare with selected. 
and now I've got this and and at the bottom as at the bottom as well oh just below just below just below so I'll I'll be putting that on Wikibooks so you know um, yeah just so I contribute to the uh, <laughs> this whole crazy endeavor of uh, crowdsourcing possible questions and tasks for the AQA Skeleton Code 2025. Right, that was video two. It was a short one. Um, see you for a proper task from Wikibooks in the next one.